winter annual weeds have become more of a challenge in production agriculture for a number of reasons. The biggest one is we've reduced tillage. Yeah, absolutely. So we see these weeds get started in the fall, and in the past, we were knocking them out with tillage. Well, when you're going no-till, or like on our farm, we do a lot of strip-till, we're seeing so many more winter annuals. Well, you can address these still in the fall. And when we talk about weed control programs in crop, I'm really more concerned with winter annual weeds about what am I gonna do in the fall? If I can get out yep. in the fall and apply products like Valor in front of soybeans, for example, that's great, but I can also add a kicker. If I'm coming in with enlist beans next spring or even extend flex beans next spring, I've got the options of different 2,4-D or dicamba products that are labeled to use in front of those crops, and I can use them six months in advance. Now, it just depends on what you're after here. Burn down, residual, or both. So if you just want burn down, if you say, hey, all my mare's tail, my pennycress, all these other winter annuals, they're all up, I personally like going with a quart of banville, not the usual pint of banville you're gonna use in crop. I'm talking about a quart. Or if I'm going out with 2,4-D, it might be two or three quarts. We are going to hammer this stuff. Part of the reason we need bigger rates in the fall is because the weather is a little cooler. And sometimes these weeds are, are pretty tough to kill to begin with. So we need good, strong rates, and that can wipe stuff out in the fall. It's awesome.